In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down how to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 21 from the shotgun bunch in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. I want to apologize for those of you guys. I have been a little bit under the weather this weekend, and so I haven't been able to stream. But we normally post four times a day here on YouTube, and we stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And so I will be streaming tonight. Also, do want to let you know before we jump into the tip that today is the day that I will be sending out my exclusive video for the people who have joined my texting membership. It's very, very easy to join that. It's completely free, and you get one big time exclusive long form really detail oriented high level tip of Madden every single week so last week's video was over 40 minutes um, this week's video will probably be a little bit uh, longer because we're going to be talking about run defense and how to stop every run in Madden 21 so if you want to get those videos all you got to do is just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left corner of your screen. It's also in the description of every video that I do. And um, all you got to do is just let me know your name so that I can save you in my phone because it is my personal cell phone. And just let me know you want to get the tips. If you just have bad and questions in general, also shoot me a text and I can help you uh, personally with that as well. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about a man beater that I really actually like from this gun bunch offset. I don't, I haven't seen a lot of people running this. Um, uh, this specific play is from the bunch halfback strong. And the play is the play flood. And a nice compliment to that play is the play dig. But today we're going to focus on the play flood. And against man-to-man, -man, it really does a good job. I'm not going to cover a ton of zone coverage from this because bunch in its very nature is very, very good against zone. But this really is um, one of the big challenges with it this year is man. So we're going to show you man to coverage. Um, really easy. Um, I don't really make any adjustments, honestly. I just run this as is. If you wanted to make an adjustment, the one thing I would say you could do is maybe take your tight end and put him on a drag route. Um, and then take your running back and put him on a swing route to the right. This will help a little bit with just kind of the whole flow of the play. Uh, at the snap of the ball, what I'm going to do is look to the tight end quick and see if he does win. If he does win, if he's like matched up against a linebacker or something, sometimes he will win. He doesn't always win. I do want to clarify, he does not always win. But when he does win, he does you know get you a good decent amount of yardage. The running back on this play um, really is not going to beat man. He's really more of a zone read. But the primary route that you want to look at throwing is this route to circle. Um, you can smart route the route. You see if you smart route, it does go a little shallower. Um, but what you'll see here is when he motions out, you can snap it while he's in motion. And when he cuts to the outside, I just like to low ball it. And I really think low balling it makes it a little bit better against both man and zone. Uh, you'll find this play beats both coverages. It'll beat man. It'll beat zone. There's really not very many zones in the game that are going to defend this, especially if you get him out there uh, and wide uh, right there on that one specifically. It does turn into a little bit of a curl flat concept. But what I want you to notice against zone coverage really quickly is with zone coverage, this is going to also serve as a basic flood concept to the right. So it's really just all about making the right read. And oftentimes if they drop back, you can hit this running back, hit a double juke, and go. And I actually... You know what, I'm actually going to say for the flow of the play, it's better to put the running back on a wheel because with wheel routes, as you're reading the play, if he gets open, you can hit it quick and you can get upfield and get about 7 to 10 yards. Wheel routes this year, in my opinion, are really, really good. And what's also cool, again, against man-to-man, -man, oftentimes what you'll find is they won't cover the running back. They'll just flat out leave him wide open. Um, and there, I forgot to motion him out as scantling. That's why he didn't beat man-to-man. -man. But we'll show you, you do need to motion him for him to win. Uh, at least in my opinion. Wait, we're just going to motion him out. Um, and then the other route is Devontae Adams. And I really like this dig route. This dig route works really, really well against man-to-man. -man. What you'll find is if the user if the user on the field goes to the right, you're going to hit Devontae Adams. If he goes to the left, or, then you're going to hit Marquez Valdez-Scantling. You see there's that low ball. And that's what I'm talking about, that separation that you're going to get. Now let's say they run, let's say they run like cover two. Now first and foremost, if they're if they're not Mabel coveraging the bunch side, which most people probably would not by now know they need to do that, you can hit that basic flood. But what's also really nice is this wheel route destroys cover two, as you can see. It's going to get over the cloud flat. It's going to get deep enough, and that's what makes this play really special, in my opinion. Is that little wheel route? Wheel routes are not the greatest against man this year, but it doesn't mean they're not great against zone. Uh, wheel routes this year are really really good against zone coverage. Um, and then you'll see here there's that dig route coming in late. 
with your running back, if if they're running more man, I would wheel him. If they're running more zone, I would swing him out. Um, you do have to kind of be, you know, mindful of everything. But most people, if they're shading their coverages, you know, they're going to oftentimes leave the running back wide open. You'll see here. But this dig route is um, is very, very consistently open against man-to-man. -man. You also are going to have the drag on both sides. So really, they're going to have to really do, you know, a lot to stop this. Um, it's not easy to stop. And what's cool about it is this, these little these little quick passes, these little quick uh, digs, quick uh, quick C route type routes. When they're coming from a bunch set and you're able to motion them, they do really, really good. Um, I don't know what happened right there on that one, but um, but anyway, but but yeah, this this play beats man to man fairly well. Like I said, you know, you've got you've got both of these little quick routes, um, and then you've also got your drags. So you got three man beaters really in one play. If you wanted to, you could take uh, Shepard and you could put him on a slant, and then just put your tight end on like a fade or a streak, and do something like this right here. You could do that if they, if you knew they were running man-to-man -man coverage. I'd actually encourage you to do that because it's going to cause a little bit of a mismatch and man switch for your running back. But um, if it's you know if you think there's going to be more zone coverage, then I would leave him on the fit on the wheel route, and this just creates a nice little um, a nice little flood in my opinion. And there you see there's that low ball. Um, and the reason you want to low ball it is because once what's going to happen is your opponent is going to start dropping these um, these safeties into coverage into uh, curl flat coverage, and so when he starts dropping them into curl flat coverage, the low ball is going to keep the ball away from the safety. And there, I um, you do want to snap it like you don't want to let him get on the way outside, and that's why, as you saw right there, you want to give him space to work a little bit. If you get him all the way outside like that, the safety is going to be able to jump it. You want that running back to get out there. Now, if you leave the if you leave the tight end out there, he'll get out there quicker and he'll pull the zone a little quicker. So you'll see here, I'll leave the tight end out. See how far he pulls that that zone out. Whoops. That timing's a little off on this play. But but basically what'll happen is that tight end will pull the zone out, and then you'll be able to um, you'll be able to to get it right into MBS. See here, snap the ball right there, click on, and for whatever reason Aaron Rodgers is killing me in practice, but I'm telling you this is fairly consistent. Uh, there you go. Got the purple on that side dropping. So just a little motion right in here. Snap. Let him cut right there. Click on. And I don't I think we didn't get it get it past lead inside on that. We'll, we'll show you right here. And again, you also have your dig route to the backside if this isn't open. Most of the time it will be open right there. Click on. There you go. There you see it. So it's a little bit of a timing, uh, a little bit of a timing route. Um, if they're if they're not press coveraging, like if they're not pressing you, you don't have to. One other thing you can do, you just want to kind of get them in motion. So you can also, if you want to give yourself just a little bit more space, if they're running a lot of those purples, motion him back in, then bring him out. You see, there's just no, there's no safety in that vicinity. So, but you know, in general, if they do that, they're going to leave themselves vulnerable to other things. One of the things that um, there might, they will be vulnerable to, especially if you have your fastest wide receiver in the right slot. Um, this route to Shepard is not your typical wheel route. It does get up the field vertically a little bit better. You'll see here you can get that over the shoulder catch if they if they take the safeties away. Um, you just have to click on the receiver and make the catch. But all in all, that's a pretty good route. Now there is a couple things that defense can do, like if they back their coverage off. Um, or if they do some proper shading, they will help a little bit with this. Um, but again, that's going to leave you more vulnerable to the dig route. So this play kind of works hand in hand and really does a good job at beating a lot of coverages in Madden 21. So I wanted to break it down for you today uh, and just share a little bit. This formation is actually, you know, secretly one of the better uh, passing formations, in my opinion, in the game. It's got some really unique route combinations and really does put a different spin on the bunch than what we've seen in years past. That's why you see a lot of pro players using the Carolina playbook. It's got kind of a little bit of everything in it, and it's got very, very good shotgun bunch formations. So thanks for watching this video. Again, I just want to remind you to join the Texty membership so you can get that video. 
And then also, if you want to connect with me or if you want to connect with my community, one of the best ways to do that is through joining our Discord. There's going to be a link to that in the description of today's video. But our Discord is a great place just to be able to connect and be able to get better lab partners and just be able to get better together in Madden 21. If you want a little bit more of a deep dive into my offensive and defensive schemes in Madden 21, I wrote an entire uh, competitor's guide that goes through my entire offense, my entire defense with over um, over 100 pages of material broken down and several hours of content um, where we really literally go in and show you step by step how to run the scheme. So you can pick that up in the description of this video. Thank you so much for your time, guys, and we will be seeing you on tonight's live stream. We'll have some more videos coming on the channel today.